Hi. Ever seen those comments under videos related to GC about how Galactic Comics copied objects Cosmos? Well, this short video is to prove those people a simple and believable fact. Galactic Comics did not copy object Cosmos. The following is a table of contents of how will the video run down. Galactic Comics is a space object show published by Universe Productions, now known among the space object show community as Vince, but more commonly known as Shattered Waters. Its first episode Meet HD 106906B was first released on the 4th of May, 2017. It is commonly assumed to be the first space object show ever, and Solar System Comics or Weird and Wonderful Space to be the second. Fortunately, unfortunately, that is not the case. More on that in a possible future video. On the other hand, Object Cosmos is a space object show published by Circle Dude 236. Its first episode Pluto is a Planet Again, was first released on the 4th of October, 2019. It is by far the most popular space object show in existence, and it has a large fan base surrounding it. According to its official wiki, it has also created a trend called the Object Cosmos Trend, which involves people naming their channels after characters in the show, and making fan creations of them, such as animations, artworks, or even entire subseries. The people in this trend are sometimes called the Object Cosmos Kids, as the trend often involves young viewers, but that is generally not the case. In conclusion, this reason is the most obvious and the most commonly used. Use your logic. Vince is an artist. His creations usually don't rely on assets. His online career isn't mainly on YouTube either. If he needs to add a new object, he would likely draw it himself. The following are two of his pieces in Galactic Comics. And the following are two of his more recent pieces. Circle Dude 236 is a content creator. His creations usually rely on available assets. His online career is mainly on YouTube as well. If he needs to add a new object, he would probably check if there are available assets online first. The following are two of his pieces in Object Cosmos. And the following are two of his more recent pieces. In conclusion, Vince would draw new assets and write episodes himself if necessary, so there's no reason for him to copy Circle Dude 236. Vince releases a new episode of Quality Galactic Comics once every week on average, which is very impressive, I must say. It's only until mid-2018 that his loss of motivation is apparent and the episode frequency of Galactic Comics dropped sharply to once every two months on average. Vince stopped production of Galactic Comics in the last episode, Vengeance, which was released on the 25th of October, 2019. On the other hand, Circle Dude 236 releases a new episode of Lengthy Object Cosmos once every few months on average. It went on like this until episode 10 Juno's Problem where the episode frequency of Object Cosmos rises to once every month, stably. Before Circle Dude 236 ends production of Object Cosmos, its episode frequency peaks at once every two weeks, then he announces to not expect Object Cosmos. In conclusion, if Galactic Comics copied Object Cosmos, 
its episode frequency must be about or lower than that of object cosmoses, but that wasn't the case at any given time. This is only additional, so you can skip this part if you wish. Galactic Comics was inspired by another comic series that was also released on Tapas, Cosmic Funnies. That series was first released to the public on the 21st of March, 2016, barely more than a year before Galactic Comics' initial release. But, I must declare that the series is affiliated with neither the Space Object Show community nor the Object Show community at all. Vince was accused of copying Cosmic Funnies, so his friend Padiro decided to try to help him, which resulted in him creating a space show concept of his own as well. Long story short, the two made a treaty to declare that they will never copy each other's space shows and only inspire. According to the description of Vince's Tapas account, Galactic Comics isn't the first space object show either. It was the comic version of another space object show called The Solar System Battle, but I couldn't find it anywhere on Google. If you could find anything related feel free to comment down below to let me know. On the other hand, Object Cosmos is a spin-off of Circle Dude 236's other ongoing object show, Object Break. Rebooted on the 2nd of November, 2018, the show is about 56 inanimate objects live somewhere on Earth. Object Cosmos was split in Episode 2 of Object Break, which involves Earth in search for a date with other planet objects, or as Circle calls them, inhabitant copies. The episode, like other early episodes of Object Cosmos, relied on Vince's assets heavily, which was available to the public by the time, I suspect, thus the show was accused of stealing. In conclusion, the two shows originated from completely different things, so the possibility of Galactic Comics copying Object Cosmos is low. Overall Summary There's a fascinating history between both Galactic Comics and Object Cosmos, so people shouldn't easily assume a show copied another, especially without any valid proof. I might make a video or two regarding more about the pre-weird and wonderful space area of the Space Object Show community, but for now, this is PSOJ318.5-22, and thanks for watching. Take care!